In a few minutes, we, dawn will break here and the archipelago will once again be revealed to the world in all its rugged beauty, but today there's a difference. Today it provides the backdrop for one of the toughest endurance races known to man, as for the 11th year in a row it hosts Eau the championship decider in the sport of swim. Over the course of this day-long race, the teams will battle the elements, the geography and the very limits of their own strength and endurance as they seek to be crowned 2016 Swim Road World Champions. The rules are very, very simple. They must follow the course from Sandham to where I stand here in Uta. There are 26 different swims and 52 transitions from water to land and vice versa. At no point can they be more than 10 metres from their teammate. They may bring whatever they like with them with some restrictions on flotation devices, but anything that leaves the starting gate must be carried over the finish line here behind us in Sandham. And there they go, they are off. It's quite nice to finally get to the water yeah. and get, because that first swim, that's the swim you, you, you think about uh, during the night and during this early morning. But once you're in the water, really, you then it's just it's keep just, on going, you yeah. know? Start. Oh, a bit cold, a bit cold, but we took it in turns so we warmed up. Oh. Yeah, and you're lucky, you're really happy. Oh yeah, I'm super happy to get through that long swim. So they've run uh, pretty much uh, run and swim to the, to the west now. So they'll be coming across Runmara and then moving down south before moving on to the rest of the course. We have, I think, five teams that are really close together at the very front. They're keeping the time schedule yeah. of the fastest time ever on this course. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but it will be interesting to see if they will basically knock each other out along yeah. the way too. So some tight faces. We have Lille Mubay and Daniel Hansen are leading the men's race by six seconds, by only six seconds after two hours and 40 odd minutes of racing there. Is this the tightest field we've ever had at Ertelö? Probably. Race director Mika Lamel tells us that the split times we are on course for a new course record today. There is one second between Team Head Swimming and Team Swedish Iron Forces. Ladies and gentlemen, do not touch that dial. It's all happening here at the World Series or the World Championship Designer in the sport of swim row. This is the closest race I've ever seen, and it's just getting closer and closer. What about the, the water? Uh, it's cold or uh, quite cold? Uh, not extremely cold, but it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on going now. Yeah, thank you. If I look at the men's leaderboard here, I can see that six minutes and 18 seconds are separating the top seven teams. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that that is absolutely nothing in the sport of swim run, especially with so many long runs ahead. We have the pig swim to come and we have owner to come. There is an awful lot of drama left in this day yet. Can say that we're into the fifth hour here. We've just gone past four hours of competition here in the Stockholm Archipelago this morning. They have come to the part of the course known as the Pig Swim, Gris Simit in Swedish. Team Swedish Iron Forces and Team Head Swimming have entered the water at pretty much the same time. We have the top four teams within a couple of minutes of each other still, about three and a half minutes separating them. It is indeed Team Mad Nature, we're about to hit the water. They won't be bothering to stop to talk to Calais. They will want to get into the water as quick as possible and maintain the lead that they currently hold in the women's class. As you can see, we have the, the first uh, swimmers here at uh, Queen Holman after a really long, uh, uh, long time in the water. At the end of this swim, you could be very, very cold. A short comment. Yeah, freezing, but now that's done. And it, you can see these guys, the slippery rocks, the bodies and muscles have yeah, stiffened up during this swim. Up yep. You're kind of out of balance. Yeah, yeah. We gotta warm up. <laughs> uh. Yeah, some love, uh, some love at uh, Kevin Holman. Yeah, he's peeing too. Yes, uh, and, and this is where the head comes into play. I mean, your body is screaming. 
stop. Just stop. Take the boat back to that. Yeah. But uh, you need to get tough here because now you're running out of energy, and that's another important thing to keep throwing in those gels. Maybe every tw a gel, may maybe every 20 minutes or so. Yeah, you gotta keep because you up. have no reserves now. So it's all happening now. They're going to run across Shimanda uh, slightly to the southwest. Then there's going to be another short swim, and then they are on to Orna. That's when we find out what the tactic is. That's when we see who has enough left in the tank to take the lead. Some struggling uh, next to the shoreline, but uh, now they're back on track and uh, running in the forest up here. Short comment. Yeah, it's amazing. A uh, little cold. Uh, we're getting there. We're there now. Yeah. It's nearly, do nearly done. What, what do you say? No broken bones, just leg cramps. Your leg cramps, that's okay. And what about you? I'm g a little cold right now, but okay. We're having fun. We are now on Orna, and we can look at the leaders as they make their way across the 20 kilometer run there. They are three minutes and 12 seconds ahead as they come through the crucible, which is Orna. They look a little bit tired. I can see they're running on, the, they don't want to run on the, the tarmac area there. The ground's a little bit softer, just on the edge of the road. Uh, the Tula Adventure Team is leading the mixed class from Team SwimRunShop.com and Team Orca. If we look at the women's class there, we have Team Ad Nature, who've got a gap of, of 8 minutes and 34 yes. seconds to Team Icebug and after that we have Team Head Swimming 9 minutes and 31 seconds after the leaders there. We are now on Orna and we can look at the leaders as they make their way across the 20 kilometer run there. This is absolutely incredible. Seven hours and 40 minutes after they left Sandham and the leaders Lele Mobay and Daniel Hansen are about to enter the water for the last time. Straight in, no messing, powerful strokes, looking as fresh as they did at six o'clock this morning, just before dawn, when they set out on this remarkable journey. Lele Mumbai and Daniel Hansen in a time of 7.59 and 6 seconds. The new world champions in swim run for 2016. Recrowned, reclaiming the title they took in 2014 in the finest style we have ever seen here on Uta. Less than eight hours, the course record smashed with over 16 minutes. No, the game plan was uh, just to, uh, to to take it easy in the beginning, uh, definitely in the first two hours and uh, get a good uh, energy plan working. And uh, when that was uh, working, we would, uh, if someone would go, we would uh, go with them. They're gonna do it in eight hours, 49, eight hours, 50 minutes as they cross the line. The new world champions in the mixed class. And my word, do they ever look like they left it all out on the course as any self-respecting world champion would. There we go. Uh, Eva Nistrom there in front of us, uh, not not exactly collapsed on the barrier, but certainly taking the support of it as herself and Audrey Young. This is the first time racing together. What was it that got you here ahead of everybody else in the mixed team? Oh, it was Eva, for sure. I didn't feel her draw on me once, and I was just every time I looked back, I was trying to, I was like trying to run away from her. So <laughs> she was so strong all day, and uh, we just had fun out there. I, I was. It's the most unbelievable course. I can't. You can't. I've done Hawaii, I've done Norseman, but this is next level. It was such a cool course and a tough day, but we dug deep and we had we had an awesome day. No. Could I ask you, when did you have the baby? Was it recently? Uh, 12th of May. The 12th of, the 12th of May, yes. and you're out here crushing the course like this. Yes. And you gotta make sure you come back next year, you know, if you don't have any more babies between now and then. No, no. Could I ask you if you're... I don't have any more babies. <laughs> you're done yeah, with that for the time being. I don't know, I mean, it seems to have spurred you on to great things here today. As they come up to the finish line to absolutely beat that record out of the park, Christine Lawson, Annika Eriksson, World Swim Run Champions 2016. And my word, you will never see a record get that much of a beating as long as you live. Team number 110, and they looked like they could go for at least another hour. An incredible performance altogether, Bjorn. You beat the course record by 56 minutes. How? We pushed hard <laughs> all the way. Um, when I was really tired, Annika pushed, uh, and we have yeah, just great teamwork all the way. But was that the plan going into the race? Did you have a goal going into the race, Annika? Well, we had the goal to help each other uh, for me on the swims and uh, Christine on the runs and then uh, we pushed hard on, on our, where we are strong. Yeah.